wait, what freedoms have been taken? So, uh, yeah, we've all been here. Because um, all of Americans, most especially the higher educated, actually, because they have been in education the longest, have been dumbed down. Do not realize they are not free thinkers. They don't think for themselves. You can't tell that most of them uh, because they believe they think for themselves. So you've been, you've, everybody's been trained to believe that, that slavery is freedom. Mm -hmm. You have. Um, because Americans have been so dumbed down that to Americans, tyranny would be, no, I would know if tyranny was here because they'd be coming to my doorstep, taking me and my kids to a concentration camp. Or the government, or the news would be telling me that the government has eliminated the Bill of Rights. Yeah, no, they don't have to do that. In fact, they wouldn't do that. They uh, would just eliminate the speech they don't want. Um, in 2020, YouTube, within a two-hour period, eliminated hundreds and thousands of accounts because they weren't talking about COVID right, because they weren't saying the right things about vaccines, because they were talking about elections the wrong way. You were having wrong think, so we have to eliminate it. They did it on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, on every social media platform. And then Elon Musk uncovered when he bought Twitter that all of the emails that were going on with CDC, Health and Human Services, FBI, DOJ, silencing different Americans, doctors, nurses, everyday people, because they spoke up against what the experts said. What the experts of elections say. What the experts of COVID say. What the experts of vaccines say. In 2020, they told you where you're allowed to stand. In 2020, they told you you can't come in this grocery store if you don't have your mask on. They told you you can't get a job unless you get an injection. They told you where you could and couldn't travel. They told small businesses to close, but they kept big box stores open. They terrorized people all through 2020 with the help of the media, the politicians, and the experts of science. And they did it all, bringing it on the heels of, this is for public health. This is for safety. We all must be a collective and do our part. And many Americans, are they, there was a ton of Americans that are not free thinkers, that don't think at all, that are really in the higher educated camp, that love putting their badge up that said, I got vaccinated. I got my second vaccine. Um, I'm going, I'm virtue signaling. I'm a good person. See, I put my trans flag up. I'm a good person. I put my BLM flag up. I'm a good person. I put my, I support science <laughs> emblem up. I'm a good person. All those virtue signalers not realizing they don't think because everybody has been educated not to think. Not to recognize that it doesn't matter what the Bill of Rights say if all around you it's not, it's not being respected. Nobody in the government respected it. They took a sitting president off of Twitter. And yet you had the higher educated, most especially, praising that. And it's like, are you out of your mind? Are you this stupid? Yeah, they're that stupid because they stayed in the education system the longest. They were trained the longest not to think. Oh, but you try to tell them that. Oh, no. All my degrees. I have a PhD and an MD. I have this and a Juris. And I, yeah, and you don't freely think. Because in order to have a healthy society that has good health outcomes, you need to have dialogue. You need to have people being able to be free thinkers and being able to express that freely. And that was not allowed. And in 2020, every social media platform showed that. And then on the House hearings in the last year, that's all been exposed. But until you're a free-thinking American, then you won't realize 
that you haven't been living under freedom. You've been living under the illusion of freedom. Our founders did not say anything about misinformation. Our founders didn't say anything about science being allowed to violate your rights in the name of public health. No, they were worried about those kinds of people. They were worried about those kinds of agencies because they knew factions would destroy freedoms. Factions would come along and they wouldn't um, come to your doorstep and drag you out of the house. No, they would come on the heels of something else. Oh no, we have to implement the Patriot Act because of 9-11. So we got to take a little bit of your freedoms to keep you safe. Oh, COVID. We got to take some of your freedoms to keep you safe. We can't have this group of doctors, nurses, just everyday people um, saying something that the science doesn't say you can say. That's wrong thing. We have to remove you. But there's still people to this day. Like when you that think this way, I mean, I, I'm not saying this against you. Every We've all been here, but this, it's not, you're not somebody thinking. Because they would never bring it, they would never tell you, you we, we've eliminated your constitution. They're not going to come to your door hauling you off to a concentration camp. They don't need to. They don't need to. And in America, the founders knew how they would do it. They would use health and safety. They would use science. And they would use the education system to dumb down Americans and, and train them that the way you think, the way that we want you to think is you listen to those experts on TV, you listen to those people that have all those PhDs because they know better than you. They will tell you where to stand, where you can go, how far you can travel, if you're allowed to have a job, and how many injections your children and you will get. And if you don't do it, then you will not be able to participate in society. Now, do you think any of that goes along with the Bill of Rights? Not at all. So I would ask you, what freedoms do we have left?